Resetting Mercedes 48 V Mild Hybrid Battery BMS with Obstar G3 slash P50. Easy step-by-step -step guide. Hey there, car tech fans. Welcome back to the channel where we dive deep into everything automotive diagnostics and programming. Today, I've got a super practical and highly requested tutorial for all you Mercedes-Benz enthusiasts and pros out there. We're going to show you exactly how to reset the 48 V Mild Hybrid Batteries BMS using the Obstar X 300 Classic G3 or P50. But before we jump in, quick question for you. Have you ever wondered why resetting your Mercedes 48V battery management system can be such a hassle? Or maybe how some tools make it way simpler? If you think you know the answer, drop a comment below. I'm excited to hear what you think. Now, a quick but important disclaimer before we get technical. This video is purely educational. We share these tips to help vehicle technicians, hobbyists, and learners understand complex automobile diagnostics safely. We always stick to fair use, and any trademarks or brands mentioned belong to their rightful owners. Remember, always follow your vehicle manufacturer's guidelines and local laws when working on your car. All right, if you're new here, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on these invaluable automotive hacks. It literally takes a second, but helps the channel grow so I can keep bringing you top-notch content. Plus, stick around till the end for a challenge you don't want to miss. Let's get into the heart of today's tutorial. Resetting the Mercedes-Benz 48V Mild Hybrid Battery BMS. Now, you might think this sounds complicated, but with the right tools, it's actually pretty straightforward. I'm talking about the Obstar X 300 Classic G3, or the P50 Programmer, which offers a much simpler process compared to some older tools like the CG100. Here's the deal. If your battery's voltage is above 45 volts, you can skip the messy step of disassembling the battery module. But if the voltage dips below 45 volts, you'll need to open the battery case, disconnect the BMS module, and charge the battery back up to a safe range ideally between 45 and 47 volts. Anything over 48 volts could trigger malfunctions, so be careful there. Now, the tools you'll need are the Obstar X 300 Classic G3 or P50, plus the T003 BMS reset cable. The P50 model also requires Bench A V3 and Bench B V2 adapters to work properly. And of course, make sure you have a reliable network connection for smooth operation. Here's how it all comes together. First, select the BMS reset function on your Obstar device, specifically Benz BMS for 48V, then ECU unlock. Connect the T003 adapter cables to the battery module that includes both the battery cable and the DC-DC cable. Then plug the T003 adapter into the P004 adapter. Don't forget to connect a 12V power supply to your Obstar device to keep everything powered. Once connected, the device will unlock the BMS module successfully. From there, head over to the test platform function, then choose 48V BMS, specifically for Benz models W166, W205, and W213. Use a multimeter to measure the battery voltage, and you should see something like 47 volts. This confirms the BMS reset was done correctly because the voltage hasn't exceeded the critical 48 volts. I'd love to know, have you ever worked with Mercedes mild hybrid batteries before? What challenges did you face? Drop your thoughts and experiences in the comments below, and don't forget to share this video with anyone who might find it useful. Before we wrap up, huge thanks to all my loyal subscribers and regular viewers. Your support is what keeps this channel alive and thriving. If you haven't joined the family yet, now's the perfect time. Hit subscribe and ring the bell so you're always in the loop for fresh, hands-on automotive diagnostics content. And here's the challenge I mentioned earlier. Let's aim for 1,000 likes and 100 comments within the first 24 hours of this video going live. If this step-by-step -step reset guide helped you, please smash that like button, leave a comment sharing your experience or questions, and if you want to support even further, consider sending a super thanks. It really means a lot. One last thing before you go. Remember that question I asked at the start? Why is it so important to keep the battery voltage under 48 volts during a BMS reset? The answer is simple but crucial. 
Exceeding 48 volts can cause system malfunctions, potentially damaging the battery management system and impacting the whole vehicle's hybrid functionality. Keeping the voltage in the right range ensures a safe and successful reset without unintended side effects. Thanks for sticking around till the end. I can't wait to read your comments and see your questions. Until next time, keep those tools handy and happy diagnosing.